Well, hello there, everyone. How are you all doing today? Today, we'll be discussing the fall season of anime for 2022. <clears throat> yeah, it's about that time. Season, uh, summer is almost over. We're getting right down the nitty gritty. Only uh, another week, and then everything's pretty much wrapping up, with the exception of a few, of course, like uh, uh, the uncle who got isekai'd one, where uh, it's only on episode 8 coming up next because of some delays and stuff like that. But regardless, let's talk about it. Because the first show that's going to be coming out, it is coming out in four days. So for the fall season, four days is when it starts, it looks like, at least for the ones that I'm keeping track of here. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, since this is just going to be a little, uh, kind of, this is the stuff I'm going to be watching this season, it's not going to go into depth. I'm not even going to read, like, the synopsis or anything. I'm just going to be like, hey, this is what this show is. Um, this is why I think I'm going to watch it. Let's move on. There might be a couple that I talk a little more about, uh, like if it's a anime for a manga that I've read, just to kind of notify you there. But anyway, let's begin. And let's start with... <clears throat> Well, that is a weird... There we go. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. So this one is Akiba Made War. Um, I like maids. And it's... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know like anything about it. I just saw maids and I was like, that's uh, going to be a check mark right there. Go ahead and check that off. Uh, what we did. So moving on. <clears throat> this one, I actually have... Uh, read the manga, or I caught up with the manga on this one, and it is a uh, beast tamer who got kicked out of the party and meets a cat girl from the superior race. Uh, a very interesting kind of anime, I guess I myself myself. I liked it. Uh, the manga, anyway. Uh, the, the manga is ongoing. I think the source is the light novel. So, I don't know, the source is the manga. What? Do they have enough to work with? I don't think I remember the manga ending in an area that would be like, hit an end. Maybe they just made that wrong entry here on this website I'm looking at. But regardless, uh, it's got cute girls. It is a, not an isekai, it's a fantasy kind of uh, show. It's that usual one where it's uh, so-and-so got kicked out of the hero's party that we've been seeing floating around. Uh, but it seems like it's going to be kind of fun. Two girls, you know. Moving on, we have, um, what was this one called? It was Ochi the Rock, I think, is what a, uh, I pronounced that. It's like, yeah, Ochi, so, right. Uh, this one, I don't know, it's under Comedy Slice of Life. Um, it's about, you know, stuff like that. I thought it was two girls. Also, this girl here. It reminds me of, uh, on the pink-haired girl, it reminds me of uh, Shimonori from uh, last season? Because of the uh, blue eyes and the pink hair out there. Anyway, it could be kind of funny, kind of cute. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll see. Moving on to the next one. We have Chainsaw Man, which basically everyone, I think, is looking forward to. Uh, I've not read the manga, but I have seen some artwork of some of the characters and i am looking forward to you know seeing how it goes also the guy's got chainsaws on his head and arms like not to like there pretty cool right so don't really know what it's about but knowing that there's cute girls in it and that this guy has chainsaws and there's like probably going to be a bunch of gore it's it's uh right up my alley so i'm gonna check that out Next up, we have Do It Yourself, which is, um, you know, kind of this craft, like, building do-it-yourself kind of club that they have. Anyway, uh, I thought that it was something that sounded interesting, so I was going to give it a little bit of a look and kind of go from there. Moving on, we have Eminence in Shadow. I've read the manga of this one, and I just gotta say, for this particular one, like, it's an isekai, I believe, 
It's been a while since I read the manga. But just imagine a Chuni, a Chuni Bio, you know, gets reincarnated into a world, and in order to pass the time in this world, he makes um, himself like believe that he's this like shadow king kind of thing. And he actually manages to pull it off, but he doesn't think he is. He thinks he's playing a like big game with everyone involved, but everyone else is taking it super seriously. It's great. Just, just look forward to this one. It's going to be beautiful. Next up, we have this show, which um, the name's a bit long because I believe it comes from a light novel. It is I Somehow Became Stronger by Raising Farming Relating Skills. I also read the manga for this one, at least up to however far it is. And uh, it was quite good. An interesting take. Oh, it's a usual overpowered uh, main character kind of thing. Also, not any sky, just a fantasy. So moving on to the next one, we have... Um, one is four... Geez. The, 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 what was the English name of it? It's the four people and their relative like lives or something like that. Um, the concept, just like this image here, is interesting to me. It's about four friends who all apparently have like a like double life that they don't tell each other about. And I don't know. It seems crazy because the girl in the, the, with the blonde hair, brown hair, Looks like she's an esper. The one girl looks like a ninja, and the one girl looks like a boy. The other one is in like a military outfit and also looks like a boy. So I don't know if like whether I'm cross dressing or what the hell's going on here. But it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Next up, we have this particular anime, which is on the Guild of Depravity, and this one. Not an isekai, but it does seem like it's going to be that uh, harem, like, lewd anime of the season. Uh, just judging by the character designs and the way things, uh, what I've seen in promotional videos. So, look for harem, this is it. All right, moving on. We have Gundam which is the, uh, the, the new Gundam coming out. It is the, is it the Scarlet Witch of Mercury or just the Witch of Mercury? I forget exactly which one, but it seems promising. Um, definitely the uh, like red highlights, like in the circuitry of the Gundam here, reminds me of Gundam Unicorn. And uh, I'm excited to see a new actual Gundam uh, anime series. Like, not that's, a, that's not a movie. The movies are, like, weirdly done, I feel. But this one seems cool because it also seems to center around a girl. So I will take a look at that and enjoy it. So, moving on to the next one. We have Housing Complex C. A very odd name, but it's a horror show. So I just got to check it out. Um, it seems interesting. To say anyway moving on from this one we have i am the villainous um the rest of the title i don't remember anyway uh it seems like a kind of a promising show all right let me look this up real quick i'm the villainous so i'm taming the final boss is the uh the full name of it and yeah the, the whole long and short of it there but needless to say uh the girl's cute so like it got me interested um the there's a different picture than this it kind of shows like a purpley moody castle background which seems sort of interesting uh but yeah it also seems like i believe it's an isekai where it's the, the girl uh, played like, uh, like Otome games or something like that. I forget the exact. I don't know if it's Otome or something else, but it sounds like it's one of those, like, oh, I'm the villainous, so I'll do shit. Anyway, it seems cool. I'm going to check it out. Needless to say, uh, next up we have The Legend of Mana, 
the teardrop crystal. Pretty sure it's based off a video game. Um, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, we all know that my history with things that are based off video games are kind of like, wow, this is shit. So we'll give it an episode try. And if it's good, I'll keep watching. If it's not good, we'll quit. That's how it is going to go. Next up, we have Love Flops, which uh, is a comedy romance. But I don't know, I get some sinister vibes from this picture. I don't know if maybe there's going to be some uh, darkness going to show up here. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, looking forward to that one. Moving on to this particular one, which is the management of Novice Alchemist. Um, I don't know, there's a bunch of cute girls on the cover of it, and I was like, man, uh, yeah, it's not an isekai from the looks of things. It is just a, a fantasy about this alchemist girl. So that's going to be pretty dang cool. Next up, we have <clears throat> Mob Psycho's third season. Now, I normally don't talk about uh, extra seasons, but since we're doing just kind of brief overlook, I figured I'd mention it. We're not going to do a full review on it, of course, because if you like the first two seasons, you're obviously going to watch the second, or the third, sorry. But that is that. Um, yeah, so moving on to the next one. I'm just going to delete that. We have more than a married couple, but not lovers, which also seems like it's going to be a romance comedy with drama this time. The other one was not drama. Love Flop did not say drama as a genre, but this one does. So we'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know what to say about that. Anyway, moving on to the next one. We have My Hero Academia's sixth season. Once again, not much to say about it. It's just the sixth season. I'll be watching it. Not going to comment on it at all, but I just thought I would mention it coming up. So check it out. Moving on to the next one, we have My Master Has No Tail, which is about a little tanuki girl who uh, I'm just noticing has both animal ears and human ears, which is just, it, it, it bothers me so much. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be good. Uh, it's a supernatural kind of show. I don't know. We'll see. It, it could either go, it could, it could really go either way. It could be really good. Or it could be really mediocre, regardless. All for that one. Next up is Princess of a Bibliophile, which uh, has got a cute girl. Um, I don't really know about this one. It's a drama romance. So a couple of romance ones this season, it seems. I think last season we didn't really have any romance, so it's nice to see some of them come out here. This one, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be up my alley. But we will check it out. Next, we've got, and this one is also from a light novel, so it's got a long name. Reincarnated as a sword, I became the sword transmigrating uh, Tenken. I don't know why Tenken messed me up pronouncing that. But uh, yeah, so it's an isekai where a guy, rather than being reborn as a normal human, is a sword. So yeah. Um, Question. I, I, I'm really curious about this. No, okay. So I just Googled something because I feel like there's like a lot of these coming up. Like there's a, a vending machine one um, or like just inanimate objects of people being reincarnated as. Um, I feel like a very easy one to be would be like uh, an anime called I was reincarnated as my crush's panties or something like that, right? It just feels like that's something right up the alley for what anime and manga would have, right? Just gotta say. Regardless, that's that one. I don't know what the concept is gonna be. Like, how is the story gonna be told if he's a sword? Well, no. When it comes out. Next up, we have... Um, Shinobi no uh, Iki... Blah. Itoki? 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 My god. Shinobu. I don't know why I'm saying Shinobu. Fucking One Piece is, is fucking me over. Uh, Shinobi? No. Itoki. My god. Okay. 
Um, given that the main character's name is Itoki, I'm going to go ahead and guess that the title just translates to Itoki as a shinobi or a ninja, something like that. Anyway, two girls. Uh, apparently a guy finds out he's a ninja and goes from there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. They say. Also, Spy X Family getting its second season coming out rather quickly. So, uh, yeah, again, not going to talk much about this one because it's the second season, but we'll see how this one goes. I was kind of losing interest at the end of the first season. Like, the beginning had me right, don't get me wrong, but the, towards the end, I was kind of like, eh, because it was all mostly focused on Anya's schooling stuff, which was kind of boring to me. Regardless, moving on to the next one, we've got... Uh, <clears throat> is there an English title for this? It's uh, Urusei Atsura, I think. Wait, no, that's Tsura. Yatsura. Yatsura. There it is. There's no ta there. It's just su. So, anyway, you might notice the characters. Well, the guy is just generic as hell, but you might notice the blue haired girl with the uh, striped bikini kind of thing going on there, and the little horns. Uh, it's a remake, or like a retelling, or I don't know exactly what it is. They're remaking, basically, an, an old, old, old anime from, like, it's one of the first ever anime. It's, like, from the era of, like, Banma and a half, and Sailor Moon, and there's that kind of old art, art style that we have going on. And from, actually, if I look at it here, I should be able to see... <laughs> the anime previously came out oh yeah in the 1980s is when it came out the old one did uh, 195 episodes is uh, how many episodes the original had so I never watched it but we'll see how this goes maybe I'll uh, you know, like the new one that's coming out and be like yeah this is pretty poggers um yeah and that is all because now if we hit one more, we're back at the maids. So, just a little, here's all these shows that are coming out. And uh, kind of highlighting the ones I'm going to be watching. There are, of course, others that are coming out. Like idol ones, or sports ones. I think there's a climbing anime. Uh, and I was like, not into that. I don't do sports stuff. It just doesn't do me. But uh, yeah. In total, 22 shows. Um, oh, well, I guess 20, a little more, counting some extra seasons that we got going on there. But, regardless, that's what I'm watching. So I think 21 if we exclude second seasons, I believe. Yeah, sounds about right. Regardless, there's a lot to watch, right? And we'll be discussing each of them as they come out. <clears throat> and like I said, the uh, first one comes out in four days. But we usually give them two episodes before we really do a first impression video of them and kind of talk about what the show is, right? So expect that in uh, about two weeks, which should give us enough time to do all of our other reviews for this season's anime. So, uh, also, I think the last video that I did a, a first, like, let's just look through all this season's anime. I think I was doing video clips, right? But uh, then... The reason I'm not doing it this time is because the anime companies are, apparently they don't know, like, what promotion is and what, like, just uh, reviewing or discussing things, you know, is. So the copyright struck that video to hell. Like, I'm talking every single trailer on that video got, like, a copyright strike. It was crazy. And so I, I even got, like, one, like, not just like a copyright strike or whatever it's like a copyright like a thing that basically is a strike against your channel or if you get three of them your channel's taken down which uh is stupid but they did that i don't know so i won't be doing any more clips because yeah animes comes in they're dumb i guess like they're just promotional videos it's not like i'm streaming a damn episode like you see on other channels on youtube and stuff like that it's not like they were very long. They were just like a minute or so. Whatever. Anyway, 
that's my little rant done and that's uh this episode done so just about 20 minutes not too bad considering we talked about like 25 different shows here so thank y'all for listening what are you looking forward to this season any of the ones i'm watching uh you're also looking forward to are there any i didn't discuss that you're like hey you should check this one out you know go ahead and comment below and look forward to when we do the individual discussions Till then bye for now